1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice, after supper, saying, This chalice is a new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you will proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today's Mass has been offered for Anne Marie Zuckman. And Marie and I used to swim together years ago in the, in the pool, and uh, she died of cancer. So we pray for Anne Marie and for her family. So as we pray this morning, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, and in my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grieving soul. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Anne Marie Zuckman. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free. From the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, that we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart. Let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of another world enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I call upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works of my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to believe and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It must have been awfully frustrating for Jesus trying to convince the people that he was God and they started stoning him, accusing him of blasphemy. I often think of parents. Don't they have to have great patience with children? Not to want to whack them and smack them and everything like that. You know, it takes great courage and patience and great faith to, to, to be patient. And, and, and Jesus Christ is the personification of God. Uh, you know, to see Jesus was to see God. And he tells us so much about God. His patience and his love and his genuine care. Imagine if you were trying to explain Jesus to somebody. Imagine trying to explain Jesus' presence in the Eucharist to somebody who didn't believe it. It's very frustrating. So Jesus must have been very, very frustrated that he couldn't convince the people that he was God and that he came out of love. And thank God he was that suffering servant who humbled himself even to death on the cross. Let us pray. Let us pray for Anne Marie Zuckman, for whom the Mass has been offered, and for her the consolation of her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the faithful departed. We remember especially Leda Nilas and Jola Koda. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We have many sick people. Many have asked for special prayers. We lift them up in prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the dying, may they have faith in Jesus, the resurrection, the life, and may their family accompany them to heaven's gate. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the workers at our church, may they be safe and complete the work they have undertaken. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray for the success of our quad process. We pray that more and more people will study the faith and be able to witness to the church that Jesus Christ established. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this day and all its opportunities. Help us to know that you love us and that you gave your life for us and you continue to give your life for us through the Holy Eucharist. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of the Holy Church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our mind, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and power tremble before you. Heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And today I'd like to do a quote from the Didache. The Didache was like the manual or the catechism of the apostles. Comes from anything that's dated from about the year 70 to 90. So this is what the Didache says. As this broken bread was once scattered on the mountains, so after it had been brought together became one. So may thy church be gathered together from the ends of the earth into thy kingdom. For thine is the glory and the power through Jesus Christ forever. And let none eat or drink of the Eucharist, but such as have been baptized in the name of the Lord. On the Lord's day gather together, break bread and give thanks, after confessing your transgressions, so that your sacrifice may be pure. No, no, may no one who has a quarrel with his neighbor join you until he is reconciled by the Lord. In every place and time, let there be offered to me a clean sacrifice, for I am a great king, says the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceasing to work, so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out of them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for you, a son who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross, but before his arms are outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to your Son by the sacrifice of your Son, and granted by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints of the halls of heaven, 
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. They freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation. We shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom of God and the glory of yours is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Mindful of the coronavirus, let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be but I am word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternity. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated now for our aid. Good morning. Good morning. Remember last week, O oh my Jesus, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Just took care of all of us. The first time I read the reading, it, it really, I'm, I'm thinking, what's Jesus doing in the Old Testament? Because it, it's denounce him. Let us denounce him. Didn't they say the same thing to Jesus? So I went back and started reading over again. Jeremiah was born 650 years before the birth of Christ. So he, but when he, was, when he was born, God said, I want you to be my prophet. And Jeremiah said, whoa, 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 dude. I'm too young. I don't know how to talk. And God said, I knew you when you were in your mother's womb. You will do, go where I tell you to go. <clears throat> okay. If any of you, me, want to speak to Father, 
Patty go knock on his door and you have a one-on-one -on -one with him. Jeremiah had one-on-ones with God. God knocked on Jeremiah's door. I mean, that's something we can be jealous about. Jeremiah was, they, they were trying to stone him. They were for blasphemy because he told them that they were sinners. He said that the city of Jerusalem was going to be wiped out. God told him to go buy an earthen jar and he took the leaders of the city, the priest, and went outside the city and God said, okay, throw down the, the earthen vessel. And he threw it down and it smithered, smashed. And Jeremiah told him that is what's going to happen to Jerusalem and the people in it. Oh, what's the word? Denounce him, kill him, stone him. Think, think. They, the people in Jerusalem burned incense to Baal. What are we doing right now? We, we, the United States of America. I, I believe the greatest country in the world, and I'm sure most of you do too. Our God is a dollar bill. We don't allow God in our public schools. We're not allowed to, to pray. I've said it before, but as long as there's algebra tests, there'll always be God in school. Uh, the government has made it legal to murder unborn, unwanted children. It's easier today to get a divorce than it is to get a marriage license. Think about that. The, 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 the movie stars that everybody worships and looks up to have had five, six wives, five, or six husbands. We need some help. We need God. And it starts here. We need prayer. Yours and mine. Um, I, I'd like to just straighten one thing out. Next door, we're building a church building. That's a church building. You and I our church. That's a building where church meets you and I. Amen. Amen. Very good. Um, I think we'll change your name from R.A. to Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a cute email here. Oh, you can stone me. <laughs> we leave that to Dolores. <laughs> a pastor was delivering a strong message on the evils of alcohol. Rather loudly he said, If I had all the wine in the world, I'd dump it in the river. Even louder he declared, If I had all the beer in the world, I'd dump it in the river. Finally he pounded the pulpit and ended his sermon by exclaiming, If I had all the whiskey in the world, I'd dump it in the river. Then the choir director got up and said, Let's sing one oh, hymn 108. Shall we gather by the river? <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be God. Let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, to the hearts of your faith. Amen.
Let's pray, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructs the hearts of the faithful, that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hello, Deacon Norm Cantrell. On behalf of Father Patty, Deacon Ed, and all the parishioners of Most Holy Trinity Catholic Church, we'd like to thank you for listening to our recording of the Holy Mass. Now, as you may know, we are currently building a new church. And one of the major fundraisers for the new church is our spring raffle. And I'd like to give everyone an opportunity that views our masses to help us in this process. Our spring raffle is actually 16 individual raffles. We give away a total of over $15,000 in cash and prizes. There are eight $250 raffles, three $3,000 raffles, four non-cash prizes of trips to the beach, to the lake, to the mountain, and also a boat cruise, as well as a grand prize of $5,000. The unique thing about our raffle is that every ticket purchased is eligible for every one of the drawings, so you have 16 opportunities to win. If you'd like to help us in our endeavor, please contact me via my email. That's ncantrell at biloxidiocese.org. That's n-c-a-n-t-r-e-l-l-e -E at biloxidiocese.org. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching our videos, and may God bless.